Wait, wait. Oh, Whatever I've got I that. Do, you're just gonna, you know, just did you just get that? I did. This is Coogan Cassius for iPhone London. We're backstage here at Sky for Ringside um, with me. This is probably the manliest clip you've ever been in, Johnny. Because <laughs> yesterday we, you were claiming that you, you're not gay, and now this is, uh, you know. Well, back in the day, they used to make us uh, have to put our own makeup on, and I've got three daughters. So uh, they took me to the uh, House of Fraser to buy some Bobby Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown makeup. So uh, and they taught me how to do it at home. And they put it on, and they said, "Dad, you've got slag lines." You know what slag lines are? You know when you put makeup on, but you've got a big makeup oh, line yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, around here, around here. Apparently that makes me slag. So oh, uh, <laughs> so they said, "Dad, do it right." So thank God you're doing it. Can you tell us a little bit about Johnny's skin tone? Is it good? He's got very nice skin. He doesn't actually... Now we've gone into HD, we don't need to do... Not like Glenn's, he looks like Dr. Duck. Oh, sorry, go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember it's all about me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm easy to work with, aren't I? I'm yeah, telling you that, are. yeah, you see? Yeah. I mean, just a little bit of makeup. He's a don't... makeup artist dream, aren't you? Right, Jodie, while you have your makeup done, I just want to... Um, Get your opinion on the comeback of Audley Harrison. You know what? I'm, I'm really, I'm disappointed. Why would I be shocked? Why would I I'd be upset? Uh, because, like again, I believed him. I believed when he he uh, he said, uh, "That's me done." And you can totally understand why he was devastated after losing to Deontay Wilder, and it was how he lost as well. He said, "Never been fitter. It's the lightest he's ever weighed." And uh, his woman had just, he'd gone back to America, his woman had just had a baby. And I thought, you know what, the reality has kicked in. I mean, Audrey never used to get on too tough back in the, in the day. And, uh, and now I actually, I do, really do like him. He's a, he's a nice guy. But I don't know, is he really, is he really if, even if he says that he's not retiring, where's he going to get work? Where's somebody going to put him on? He's, he's 41 years old. Uh, he's had some high profile losses. As far as he's concerned, he'll always be judged on anything he does, be it sparring, be it boxing, be it whatever he does or says. He might be saying it to just have a little tongue-in-cheek joke, but where does he go? I do really hope he's not serious because he's a very intelligent, articulate, um, not a bad-looking individual. So if he's one of those guys that's just going to box on, it just means it's just for the dough. Um, and if he tries to sell me that dream like I have a dream, it's my destiny rubbish. I'm coming out of retirement. So, so uh, what's he do? And uh, I was just a bit disappointed. I thought, I ain't taking that serious. You're not, I'm not gonna believe you again. Don't get me like that. So I just hope he's, uh, he's just making silly, silly statements. So, I mean, obviously this is probably, I don't know how many times you've counted the times all these come back, but- Every time he's got knocked out. But, but, but is, is it up to him ultimately, Johnny, if, he's, if he wants to do it? And it is up to him, but then again, you've got to think. If you're a promoter and you're looking to put Audley Harrison on and, and you, like everybody else, have fallen for what he said to you and you believed in him and unfortunately he's not been able to perform, are you going to invest in him? Are you going to hope he's going to put bombs on seats? Um, prize fights, he's king. You know, and, and he... And he People come to watch him win or lose. But anything beyond that, to expect anything more, it's just not going to happen. Um, it'll just, it'll be more like a car crash, you don't want to watch, but you're going to. Um, and it's just, just, just a bit frustrating, sad and frustrating. And he's a clever guy, you know, he, he talks well. So why not try and teeth my job? No, no. Why not try and get a job in America doing my job? No. Why not try and get a, stay in America, just babysit. Be a house husband. Not wrong with that. I did it. <laughs> All right, Johnny, I'm going to pest you for different topics um, throughout the day. So <laughs> this was topic one. Johnny, Johnny Nelson talks Audley Harrison come back again. So uh, we'll catch up with you after you're looking a little bit more uh, masculine. Like that. Look at that. My best side. Look at that. Put on my lips.
<laughs> gorgeous. Oh, he's Go gorgeous. on, Baba. Go on, Baba. Yeah. Let me have a look. Look, look at that tight shirt. Oh, God, I'm going to rip it. Oh, I'm going. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>